Welcome everyone. This is a gentle chair-based yoga class. The entire practice can be done in the chair with a few optional standing poses. My intention here is to offer a practice that will warm up the body, maybe focus the mind a little bit, and provide some energizing for the rest of your day. So we'll begin. The focus today is on staying present. Let's start with a quote from Lao Tzu, a Taoist philosopher from 2,500 years ago. This is what he has to say. If you are sad or depressed, you're living in the past. If you are anxious, you're living in the future. If you are at peace, you are living in the present. So how do we get there? We're going to use awareness of the breath, attention to the breath as our vehicle. And hopefully that will lead us to a place that helps us stay in the present. So let's begin. We're in seated mountain pose. Feel the feet flat on the floor. The knees are bent right over the ankles. Feel the weight in your sitting bones. And from there, let there be a lift up through the crown of the head, up through the spine, roll the shoulders back and down. You might root firmly in the feet and feel the base of your mountain. And now we can relax that pressure in the feet. We'll begin with some breath work. Feel free to soften your gaze, look out the window, close your eyes, and spend just a few minutes here. There's nothing to change or fix. It's taking a few moments to notice the easy flow of breath in and out of the body. Perhaps we notice the coolness of the air coming in with the inhale and the slightly warmer air that we exhale. We might become aware of the rise and fall of the chest, maybe the filling of the lower belly. and the collecting back in toward the spine and toward the sitting bones as we exhale. Let's take a moment to scan through the body for any places that feel exceptionally tense or tight and just mentally send a breath to that place or those places and invite them into the practice today. I'll pay attention to you. You are safe here safe to let go. Today's breath practice, let's go into relief breath, which is inhaling through the nose, exhaling gently through pursed lips. So inhale nose, exhale mouth. The pursed lips help to extend the exhale longer than your inhale, which is a calming practice. And while you are breathing, I will read the passage from Thich Nhat Hanh on breath. The practice of mindful breathing may be very simple, but the effect can be great. Focusing on our in-breath, we release the past, we release the future, we release our projects. We ride on that breath with all our being. Our mind comes back to our body and we are truly there, alive in the present moment. We are home. Just one in-breath, one out-breath can make us fully present and fully alive again. And then the energy of mindfulness is there in us. Mindfulness is the energy that makes us fully present, fully alive in the here and now. So let's release that controlled breathing. Just resume your normal breath pattern. Maybe pause and notice whether anything already has settled just a little bit. And as you feel ready, slowly open the eyes. Going into torso circles, so the upper body is circling around. This breath, you might try inhaling, coming forward, exhaling as you go to the back. Alternatively, you could try exhaling to come forward and inhaling to go to the back. So use the breath pattern that suits you. It's a great way to warm up our spines and our hip joints.
Next time we're forward, let's change direction. And now we'll make this circle smaller and smaller until you reach your point of stillness. Letting this be your gesture. You're turning inward for this time. Practicing good self-care. Great. Okay. We're going to start with warming up the shoulders. So let's go ahead and take some shoulder circles. So the shoulder blades go forward, up over the top back and down. You're forming a smooth circle or oval with this movement. Inhale up, exhale down. Let's reverse. Go back to front. And front to back again. So back to the original direction, which keeps the chest open. Counteracts the slumping that we tend to do at the computer or while reading, or texting, driving. That's nice. Okay, so we're pausing here. We're going to take a shrug. So this is just inhaling, lift the shoulder blades, maybe squeeze the face, and exhale. Ha! Ah. We'll do this several times. Inhale, lift, tighten, exhale, release. Good. Inhale, tighten. Exhale, release, and one more good one here. Inhale, tighten, lift, squeeze, and release. Good, that's nice. Get fingertips on the shoulders. Let's raise and lower. Again, with breath, inhale as the elbows come up. Exhale down. You might become aware of the shoulder blades sliding on your back as your elbows come up and down. And then we'll take a different direction. Exhale closed. Inhale open. Doesn't matter if your elbows touch or not. Exhale closed. Inhale open. Exhale closed. Inhale open. Great. Releasing that, we're going into some neck stretches. So let's take a lateral stretch first. Take right ear toward right shoulder. Face stays forward rather than twisting. You want you can take out the opposite hands and now you have a long diagonal leaning away from the arm. You also could take the same side hand and just lay it gently on your left ear, not tugging, just adding a little extra weight for that stretch. And gently releasing. Let's just do a little gentle bobble of the head before we go to the other side. Okay, on the left side, ear comes toward shoulder. Opposite arm can reach out. Keep this shoulder relaxed. Take the same side hand, take it over the top. Touch the right ear. Breathing. Going to release. I'm taking the chin now up and down, keeping the spine tall. For a little extra stretch here, you can hold the back of the chair or hold your elbows behind your back and feel that stretch across the chest as the chin goes up and down. Again, with breath, inhaling up, exhaling down. Releasing the arms. Slowly turn the head side to side. Inhaling, coming to center. Exhaling as you twist to each side, just the neck. The rest of you is still. Try to keep the chin level with the floor rather than pointing up or down. And one more time, right to left, ending on your left side.
Nice. Okay. So we're moving down the body. We've just worked on the shoulders and the hips. I'm oh, sorry, the <laughs> shoulders and neck. And let's go on. We're going into our spine. So we're going into cat cow. Sitting forward, arching the spine, lifting the gaze. Inhale. That's cow. Exhale. Feel the weight roll onto your sitting bones. Tuck chin. Cat. So inhale to cow. Exhale to cat. Just as a reminder, if you have osteoporosis, rather than rounding your spine in the cat, just tuck your chin. It's a little bit safer for your spine. So inhaling and exhaling. Let's take this into a dolphin dive today. So the next time you're in cat spine, dive your head forward and down. Push into the feet, rise with a long spine back into cow. So now we have cat, dolphin, cow. And the breath with this is to exhale into cat, dive forward and down into dolphin, push into the feet, rise, inhale, back into cow. Nice. Pausing here, we're going into a twisting motion. So we might start with hands right in the lap. Very gently taking one shoulder forward, one shoulder back, looking over the back shoulder. There are different arm variations you can use. Doing our best to lengthen in the middle and exhale into each twist. Coming to center, we're going into a side stretch, taking your right arm up over the top. Just let the left arm be relaxed. Go straight to the side so the face stays forward. Inhale up, reach, lengthen. One more time, reach, lengthen. Stand firm now in your left foot. Your right foot, sorry, and feel that long line along your right side. Okay, <laughs> let me get my rights and lefts correct now. We're going to the other side. So inhale, reach up with your left arm, <laughs> side bend. Inhale, lift and lengthen. One more time, pausing, standing firm now in the left foot, feeling the entire left side body opening here. Great. Getting ready to open up the hips a little bit. Let's take your right leg just in and out, a gate swing here. Notice that pulling in the lower belly for support. It'll help keep you more upright. And we're going into circles. Going the other direction. It's perfectly fine to support yourself underneath if that makes it easier. We're just wanting to warm up the joint. I'm going into a floor mopping move. So the thigh is stable, lower leg is relaxed, You're pretending to mop the floor. So the sole of your foot faces the floor. This is actually warming up the knee joint. And let's change directions. And pausing here, circle the ankle. Welcoming in any little pops and creaks and cracks that you might hear. Sign of release. We've changed directions on the ankle circle. And now, on your left side, 
Inhale, open. Exhale, closed. As the knee comes in, let's go into a circle. Changing directions. Stabilizing the thigh. We're mopping the floor. Changing directions. And finally, circling the ankle. Listening again for more pops. Change directions for your ankle circle. So notice whether you feel any warmth now in this area. We're going into some forward folds. Lengthening, you're folding right from this hip crease area rather than slumping. Exhale, just take a gentle forward fold. You can keep hands right on the thighs or you can reach a little bit deeper if you want. Send some breath into the back body. Encouraging the hip joints to open. Push into the feet to rise. Sunflower bow. Inhaling to bloom. Exhaling to fold, crossing the wrists. Pushing into the outside edges of your feet here. You feel that your thighs are working. Inhale up. Exhale fold. Inhale up. Exhale fold. Inhale up. Hands on the thighs, taking one shoulder in the direction of the opposite knee. Inhale here, exhale over. One more time. To your right and left, ending on your left side. Good. Very partial to knees, so I would like to do our knee strengthener. Lift and bend, extend with flexed foot, bend again, lift that knee, and set it down. That's one. We'll just continue on the same side. This is really good for the quads, the thigh muscles, which strengthen the knees, enabling us to walk, get up and down stairs, in and out of chairs, stay independent. Rest here now or add some arm movements, bending, extending. Bending, lift, bending, maybe extending this way, bending, lift, third time, do whatever you like with your arms, bending, extending, <laughs> bending, lift, good, now on the other leg, bending, extending, bending, Lift. Notice we can pull in the belly, bring that knee up a little higher. Just keep going. It's been recommended that to build strength, doing a move like this, we go for at least six repetitions. And this is number six here, so feel free to stop and rest 
or we will add arms for those of you that want to continue on. Bending, extending, bending, lift, bending. Third time, Yogi's choice on arms. So bending, extend, bending, lift. Over. And you take just a static hold back to your right leg, just flexing the foot. Can be on or off the floor, pressing palms together, remind us to pull in the belly, letting the muscles work without having to move them. On the side two. Yeah. We're going to do a quad stretch. Turning sideways in the chair so that one leg is over the side of the chair. The back knee is bent, pointing down best we can. Upright posture, squeezing in the glutes together, pulling in the belly. Maybe. Raising that outside arm. We have the other hand on the chair for support. Take fingertips to the shoulders now. Lean in. Let that supporting arm bend if it needs to. So we're inhaling, then in toward the chair, exhaling, come upright. This time, pausing, breathing, come up. On our way to the other side, let's take another forward fold, wide-legged, again, lengthening, holding down, take several breaths here. Come up. On the other side now, we have a bent knee, one knee facing the floor, you're on the ball of your back foot, sitting up straight, raising that outside arm, the one that's away from the back of the chair. Your other hand is on the chair. We'll take fingertips to the shoulder, or one fingertip to the shoulder anyway. Inhale, lean in. Turn the chair back, exhale, rise. Inhale in, exhale, come up one more time. That's nice. Okay. We're getting ready for some optional standing work. So if you do want to stand, feel free to do that. I'll be standing and sitting both. Let's start with an energy breath. This is from Sarah Joy Marsh in Portland, Daya Foundation. Inhale, pull the fist in. Exhale, push out. Inhale, pull in. Exhale, push back. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, pull down. And again, inhale, Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One last time. Add your own imagery. Inhale. Exhale. Let go of something. Inhale. Exhale. Put it behind you. Inhale. Reach for something new. Exhale. Bring it in. All right, so we're coming to standing for those of you that want to. Actually, for this one pose, it would be nice if we all did come to standing. This is mountain. And I promise that if you don't want to do standing work, you can sit after this one. Just to feel the full length of your body. Feel the weight in both feet. Knees are right over ankles. Hips are over knees. Shoulders are over hips. Head over shoulders. Maybe we roll the shoulders back and down. 
palms are forward, reaching out into the space around you. Claim all the space that you're entitled to claim. And recognize the fullness of your being. Good. That's nice. Okay. So, whoever is not going to remain standing can be seated. We're going into a warrior one to pyramid flow. We have one knee forward here. And our arms and cactus. If you're standing, we have one bent knee. And one straight leg behind you, arms and cactus. For pyramid, we straighten that front knee, hold over, palms turn up, lengthen the spine. Okay? So, moving with breath. Inhale here, warrior one. Exhale, pyramid. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, pyramid. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, pyramid. Pause in this shape. Feel the length in the arms, the stretch in the back of the front leg. Lengthen the spine. We're on the other side now. <laughs> if you're standing, again, we have the front bent knee. The back leg is towards straight. <laughs> I have stuff on the floor I can't see. Inhaling, exhaling to pyramid. Inhaling, I'm trying to get into view here. Warrior one, exhale pyramid. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. And this way, time, we will Cool. Well, I promised you a slightly shorter practice, so we'll um, start our cool down here. Let's give a little stretch. So we're bringing one knee. Toward chest, you could extend the opposite leg out, leg stretching the back. On the other side. I'm taking another twist. So the variation that you like with your arms. Pausing in the twist. Coming forward, twisting to the other direction. Coming to center. Let's take a half sun salutation before we go into Shavasana. This is inhaling up, exhaling as the hands float down to the lap. Inhaling, lengthen the spine. Exhale, take your forward fold. Inhale up just halfway, spine is long. Exhale, fold again. Release the hands, push into the feet, rise, palms meet overhead, and come home to the heart. So we'll do that one more time. Inhaling up, honoring the heavens, exhaling, hands float down. Inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, fold. Now bowing to honor the earth. Inhale up to your halfway position, keeping the spine long. Exhale, fold again. This time, bow down to honor your own being. And pushing into the feet, rising. Palms meet overhead while you're inhaling. Move back home to the heart. 
we'll take a short Shavasana. So this is your time to just let your benefits of practice sink in. Again, closing the eyes if you like or softening the gaze. And again, paying attention to the breath. Poem by Dana Falls while you are resting here. Just for now, without asking how, let yourself sink into stillness. Just for now, lay down the weight you so patiently bear upon your shoulders. Feel the earth receive you, and the infinite expanse of sky grow even wider as your awareness reaches up to meet it. Just for now, allow a wave of breath to enliven your experience. Breathe out whatever blocks you from the truth. Just for now, be boundless, free, awakened energy tingling in your hands and feet. Drink in the possibility of being who and what you really are, so fully alive that when you open your eyes, the world looks different, newly born and vibrant just for now. And so let's bring some movement back into the body. That was a very short Shavasana. So after this class is over, feel free to return and relax some more or maybe take some stretches on your mat. Those of you who like to set an intention, I invite you to do that now. Just a key word, represent what you would like to have in your life the rest of the day or week, any peace or joy, or fun, or ease, and we'll close with our sun breaths. Inhaling up, offer up gratitude, exhale down, bring in blessings. Inhale up, offer up willingness and openness to receive whatever is coming your way. Exhale down, invite in possibilities. The third breath is for your intention. So inhale up, offer it up, name it for yourself. Exhale down, bring it in. Thank you for sharing your practice with me today. The light in me honors the light in each of us and in all of us. Namaste.